Hi guys, two new products today. The Aylesworth Dracant and Lothar Kadota. You don't wanna miss this one. I don't wanna miss it either. I'm probably gonna watch it after I do it because it's gonna be so awesome. See you in a minute. Hi guys, welcome back to another shave and scent of the day. This is going to be a cool one today, I hope. Aylesworth. Dracant, 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 Draca Dracant, whatever. Um, some nice grip on this thing, and it's, it's pretty heavy. Um, I can tell that it's going to have a little different shaving angle. Um, looks like it's going to be a little more upright um, based on the cap there, but we'll see how it works. Um, Gillette Silver Blue. Um, I'll, I'll tell you why in a minute. Um, we have matching splash. Kaduta. That, why didn't you even say what the, what the soap was yet? Right, let me back up. We've got Lothar Kadota. And I have the matching splash as well. <laughs> Man, that was weird. But hey, isn't that what you expect from me? Well, you got it. All right. So... We got those. I'm going to finish it with Aqua di Parma Fico di Amalfi. Beautiful citrus fig. And um, this is a green fig. Good golly. Oh, man, it's really nice off of the tub. Um, and it's opened up a lot just since I loaded the brush. I went ahead and loaded the brush to save a few seconds. Um, so, Grizzly Bay, a beautiful gray. Grizzly Bay, beautiful gray. And once again, with the super blue. Okay, so here's my rationale on this. I didn't want my most efficient blade but I didn't want a really mild blade either. I wanted to do something in between. So I did not shave for a couple of days because I knew that this was coming. So I think I'm like three days since I shaved, I believe. Um, and I wanted it to be a little bit longer because I want to give this a go. Um, it's supposed to be, I believe, kind of mild but efficient. Um, so I don't know, obviously I've never used this before. So that's why I went with that blade. Not too mild not too um not too efficient um so we'll kind of see it was between this or a um persona lab blue uh, but i've been using the silver blue lately um so i'm more familiar with that one now because it's been a little bit since i've used the persona lab blue so this will give me a better um a better take on you know how this razor works so let me just get a little warm water on my face. I I showered this morning, um, and this is before I go to bed, and I didn't feel like taking another shower. So I've just got some warm water that I'm going to put on my face real quick. Okay, and then I'll take the residue from loading the brush. There wasn't much. Okay. Oh, saved the splash, but she's wet. It splashed directly into the sink. I got too much stuff up here. My extra bougie spa water got in the way. And I will tell you, no matter how hot the water is that you put in here, it will never come out hot. It's just too fine of a mist. It just can't hold on to that heat. Mm-mm-mm. This would be a great compliment um, with the Fico di Amalfi. Really nice fresh fig scent. 
Johnny's made another banger. Good job, dude. Good job, mate. You guys just thought I was English right there, didn't you? I know you did. That was like spot on. Excited to try, well, all of this, but really excited to try this new soap too. So I um, was talking to Johnny and Johnny said that he's able to order um, larger amounts now. And so he's gotten even better ingredients in here um, and is excited to see, you know, what I think of it. Um, he said the feedback so far has been like significantly better. And I just don't know how you can get significantly better than what it already was. Um, but excited to try this. And this is the new splash recipe too, which is the um, alcohol forward. I think alcohol was, I don't know, third or fourth in the ingredients on the last one. And this one, denatured alcohol is number one. Well, let's see real quick. So it's number one in the new one, and it is one, two, three, it's third um, in the old splash. It's important. That's why I went to get it. You got to know these things. You got to know what you be knowing, and if you don't be knowing it, then you don't know. You know? I know I don't either. Mm, this scent just keeps opening up more as I get more water into it. And I'm just working into this paste as usual. No lather deserves to go under hydrated. I just can't do that to it. I can't shortchange the soap. And I shan't. Not today, not never. starting to shine <laughs> what a beautiful soap formula Look at that. That's pretty. Yeah, why not? We'll get this in a little scrub in too. And you can see I'm through the paste that was there. Mm-hmm, right in the mouth.
Mm-hmm. Okay, one more. Just just one more. I did get a mouthful there too. Taste green too. A little bitter, but not as bad as I thought it would be. Maybe a little figgy tasting just because that's in my nose right now. Hmm. Not that bad. Give her a three and three quarters on the tasteometer. Not too bad. One more, just one more. Mm -hmm. All right, I mean, that's beautiful, super shiny. Really purdy. Okay, once again, like 11 minutes in. Mm. Another good taste. Might have gotten a little more in that time. It was a little more bitter. All right. Silver blue. Dracant, 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 And you can see that angle it's definitely a little different to get that flat on me we're looking like that there you go just shaved my face there you go got it first pass all right here we go hey i think i got it right off no oh, not quite a bloopy should have gotten more water in. Yeah, I think I found it right off. There's the bloopy. And you can see, I mean, usually I'm about like this in here. You know, it's a considerably different. No pull at all. Ugh. Dropped a bloopy on me. Just so you can see the angle a little better. Get off of there. Slow motion. There we go. Very smooth so far. Easy to use, just a little different angle. This scent is great. Even that is like, should be further up like this. Plenty of good water in there. I think that helps you see the, the angle a little better. I can change hands here too. So you can see it even better. There we go. 
You see, I'm not quite on the cap there, but you know, my hand is pretty high to get that angle. All right, so we're gonna do a little first pass analysis. Hang on, let me get all of this stuff off of me. Tell you first pass analysis of the soap. I love it. The lather is luscious. There is some lusciousness in there. I wanna make sure you guys understand just how luscious that is because it's all right, enough of that. Okay. God, man, the slickness on this soap is so great. Very nice. Definitely a little different angle. Um, a little closer to the carve than you know, like Mercure, um, Mula, um, or the Game Changer. Those are a little, you know, you're not so, you know, your angle's not so, it doesn't put your hand up so high. You know, it's just maybe this and here, you know. I don't know. It was probably maybe, I don't know, five, seven degrees more. Um, or is that less when you're talking that way? That would be less yeah so i mean it really puts you up there i don't know i'm not an angler i can fish but i'm not an angler i don't i don't study angles so i don't know nice and efficient I'm glad I have this for a few shades too. One, you know, one shade usually won't give you the, the whole picture. Mm. Definitely a green fig. Boy, that's nice. This lather feels awesome too, almost uh, in um, the Jesus of Vegans words, uh, a little more silky. Um, and I get that. I mean, it's a, a very, very nice feeling lather. Okay, across the grain. In here, I've got the angle. It's a heavy dude. Very, you know, really deep grooving in the um, in the handle. Very easy to hold on to. Heavy enough that you definitely know you're holding on to something. Got some heft there. I don't know that I want to call this a mild razor, though. Um, I mean, when I think mild razor, I think Mercury 34C. You know, no real blade feel, um, just kind of a no-brainer. Um, and I mean, I can feel the blade on this. It's not, it, I can't feel it a bunch, but I mean, I know where it is. I mean, at this angle, it's certainly not super mild to me. Once again, my first use of it.
but my old razor is not what comes to mind. No, I'm not shaving my lip. So I can get here, because I've got that line right there. Oh, I got my lip. Just kidding. It's very efficient around the lip area. Except that was my chin. <laughs> Whatever, man. It's been a long day. Yeah, I'm not prepared to call this mild at this point. However, we'll see how it how it feels when I use my trusty Voschkod with this razor. And that will give me a little better feel. I will use this with a feather and a Voschkod. Those are the two blades that I use the most. So it only makes sense. But I wanted an in-betweener this time. Yeah, a little different angle to to get the sweet spot, but I think I've got it. Hmm, markedly closer now. Mm-hmm. Yep, she's feeling good. Drop some goodness. Very nice so far. For all of it. Man, this lather is luxurious. It is luxurious. Outstanding work, Johnny, on the soap. I'll give an early outstanding work to Caleb at Aylesworth. But we'll see. I may turn around and dog him afterwards, so we'll see. I think I'm going to be feeling quite good with this after this uh, this pass. But, you know, of course, we'll go against the green as well. This handle angle, um, you know, the angle that I have to hold it with, um, would take a little getting used to. just because it's a little shallower than I'm used to, but, you know, use it a few times, you'll be fine. When I loaded the blade in, it was, you know, perfect. I didn't have to mess around with it to get it, to get it all straight. Um, you know, just automatically did that. So I like that. Some reasons you get in there and the alignment's not quite right and you gotta take it back apart, move the blade a little bit. I, that annoys me. That's the one thing that I don't absolutely love about my 34C and my uh, Mula R41. I wish the blade kind of just snapped onto the post and there was nowhere for it to move. But I love both those razors anyway. You 
Yep, still picking up hair very well. So it reminds me a little more of an angle of a um, single edge razor than a double edge. Or, you know, a single edge, you're really riding the cap Like, say, the bullet tip right here. I mean, you know, you're putting it right on, basically, just a touch off. Um, and that reminds me a lot of um, the angle of this Dracan, 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 Dracan. All right. It's, it's very smooth right now. I certainly would not have to go another um, another round, but, you know, I'm going to. Also, you know, over tomorrow, this will give me a good idea of how efficient this is. I mean, R41, when I use it, I'm basically baby butt smooth for most of the day the next day. All right, just about down the bottom part of my lather here. I probably could have loaded a touch more, but we still got plenty inside the brush. And there's really no hair left to speak of, so really I just need some slickness. You'll get plenty of it with the soap. Really excited to try this aftershave, too. The last aftershave, I like it. feels great on my skin. Uh, it is tacky for, you know, three, four, five minutes, but then settles in real nice. So I'm excited to see how this does. Can still hear picking up hairs. Super smooth. Super dupa. If you can hear it picking those hairs up. The angle feels a little bit different doing it against the grain as well. It would take a touch of getting used to.
very easy to maneuver around the nose. Great. Get my trouble spots and we'll call it a we'll call it a a shave. Won't call it a day, we'll call it a shave. Go against the green. neck has become quite sensitive since it's gotten really cold here so we'll see if I feel like I've overshaved Okay, so as much as it takes to get BBS, it is a little milder. Um, it's not 34C mild by any means. Um, I don't know. I, I'll be excited to see how this changes, you know, upon multiple uses. Obviously, this is my first go around, um, and we'll see how... We'll see how I do next time and the time after. I don't know if I'll get all of these up um, onto YouTube, but we'll see. Just depends on what kind of time I have this week. It's... No, it doesn't take forever to shave, but it takes a while to upload these things and then write your descriptions and then share it everywhere. I mean, it just takes some time. But I'll try my best, guys. Oh, and then, you know, does it shave the ear? I mean, when you get old like me, you got to get those hairs off the ear, too. Easy angle for that so far. Very nice. Just took 15 years off of my ear right there. All right. Let's empty her out. Whew, a lot of hair in there. All right, I'm excited to try this splash, as I have said already. Let's see. Mmm, man, yeah, it feels great. It feels great. Pretty easy to find the angle. Um, still a little bit, a little bit different. But you know, probably once you use it three or four times, it just becomes second nature. All right, Kadota. I haven't even cracked this open yet. There we go. You saw me crack her first. I did shake this up first. Mm -hmm. There's that alcohol. A little burst of alcohol scent right off the top. Um... It's already going away. Mm, here comes that fig. Oh, yeah, this is nice. Yeah, I'll leave this on a second and see how quickly this soaks in. I did put a bunch on, so we'll see. But we're just going to give it a second and see how she soaks in. See if I can give you a, an idea of how this is compared to the other one. Remember the other one I told you is like somewhere to, you know, three to five minutes before it truly soaks in for, for my skin. Uh, 
Um, and it's almost dry right now. It's not tacky at all. There's nothing tacky to this one. I mean, it's it's almost dry. And alcohol really helps to dry that, you know, dry that off of your face pretty quick. Yeah, that's nice. Little touch of tack. You can see right there, just a little touch of it. Nothing like the last one. Really nice. And I'm not going to use balm uh, because I want to see how this makes my skin feel in the morning. I'll tell you what, this soap. Luther, 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 Luther is killing it right now. Some really great scents. Really nice soap base. That's good. I'm one spot right there. Um, and I think that's it. The rest of it looks great. Um, you know, very nice. Very nice introduction intro, introduction to the Jacant. Yeah, I like it. Fico de Amalfi. Choke my wife out in bed when I go to bed in a few minutes. If you have not tried this, do yourself a favor. At least get a decan of this and try it out. Fruity, fig, super citrusy. Man, this thing is beautiful. And this Kadota works very, very well with this. Um, I'm excited about this because I wanted another soap and splash that I could use with this um, because before all I had was um, a Dapper Docs from PAA, which I love, but I want something else to use with it too. Um, and this one is a great one. So thank you guys for joining me. Um, pretty positive uh, for the first one. Um, really, really nice shave. Um, pretty easy to get the angle. So, um, you know, I like to see how this works with different blades. Since we went with the middle of the road this time, uh, I want to go the, the two ends, you know, really efficient and then really mild or quite mild. Um, and you know, then I'll have a, I'll have a better, a better feel of how this works. But so far I like it. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you on the next two or three or four, you know, probably a bunch. Have a good night guys. Peace.